Yeah. So this is a really good question. Where does somebody start by building their brand? Mm -hmm. the, well, the answer to that question is where is your audience? Who has your money? Who are the people that are going to, who, who has your money, right? Who has your money and where are they engaging in the most? Because like, for example, the guy in Norway, he owns a SaaS company. Twitter is where his audience is. These are highly technical people. They understand software, they understand automation. To, the, to, to his audience, Twitter is the best. Facebook is a waste of time. Facebook, I describe Facebook as like the social slut house of the internet, okay? <laughs> it's literally where, yeah, I mean, it's literally where everybody is and it's a cesspool of everything, of good, of bad, of different. It's the noisiest of all noisiest. But unfortunately, it has one of the highest engagement rates. You know, people are like engaged on Facebook where Twitter engagement is really low. They're just scrolling through really quick. Unless you're looking for something specifically or you're tagged in something specifically, um, Twitter does not have as high of engagement rate as others. So the question is where does somebody start? Well, you start where the money is. Where is your money? Where are your customers? So if you don't know who your customer is, you have to go through that discovery phase. And that's why I've created some products to help people try to find that because it's not easy. You have to ask a series of questions and you have to look at it not from the business owner's perspective, mm -hmm. but as the customer's perspective, mm -hmm. the jury and the executioner, right? So who is actually gonna buy my stuff? Where are they engaging and how are they engaging? The best way that I uh, describe finding that is go to your competitor's Facebook pages and look at who's engaging in their content. You can create a persona off of those people right there. So if you don't know who your audience is, there are easy ways to, to, to find that and figure it out. All the information's available online. You don't have to pay for it, just go to Facebook and look at your competitor's page. Um, but from there, you've gotta create a persona and you have to create content that people actually want to consume. Content that provides value. Content that provides a quick win for them. And that could be, you know, in the, you know, like, like it could be a video, it could be an image, it could be copy, mm -hmm. um, it could be an audio file. It, it could be a, uh, well, it really could only be four or five different types of mediums if you're dealing with online. And you can test them all really quickly. And you can test them very quickly. Right. Yeah, you can test them very quickly. But social media is really overwhelming. Like you've got so many different platforms, so many different options. You know, what do you choose? The question is, is where's your audience engaged the most? Pick one, dominate it, do, your, do as much as you can to prove your concept on the platform where you know that they are. And once you have that, then you can listen, pivot, continue to create.